Hello everyone, my name is AppleGuy, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Luigi's Mansion. In the previous video, we went into the basement, and we finished up everything in there, and we claimed 49 out of 50 of the boos. And in today's episode, we're going to be claiming boo number 50, and actually completing everything remaining in the video game, I think. We will have to see for certain, but I believe we'll be doing everything in the game. I'm trying to go back through and see if I can claim any of the money that I missed, because I have missed money. I can! Here's a red gem. Perfect. We can get that from lighting the stove here. If we check our money count, we can see I am, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit low. <laughs> I'm a little low on, on money. I don't know if 100 million is possible, uh, in all honesty, but I, of course, will continue to try. And we will just have to see what happens as far as getting our total. If we check our map, you can see every room is complete except for this room here on the third floor, which is where we'll be heading today. We have one pit stop to make on the way there for more money. And, um, I don't know. We'll see if we make it. <laughs> we'll see if we get it. If we don't, that's, that's okay. Um, I'll still show off what would happen if we did get the 100 million, um, even if I don't actually get it. This is the stop we have to make. There is a cheese! If we take a picture of... Oh, let me get a little closer. If we take a picture of the cheese, a mouse will come out. Unless that is specific to the area only. Can I please get some distance to take a picture of the cheese? No, no mouse. The cheese is no longer useful. Okay, well, there's a cheese there. There's a cheese in the, uh, in the fortune teller's room as well. And we could have used that to get some money. We actually did use that. So, you know, something you, you need if you're in as dire need of money as I am. Which I am, in fact, in very dire need of Luigi's Mansion money. <laughs> it's okay. We, we, whatever happens, happens at this point, really. Okay, so we're going to head to the new room. It is this door right here, I believe. I'm going to check it. Yes, it is. It's this door right here. We can open up. This will be, I believe, the second to last door opening animation. I think we have one more to do um, as well. All right, here we go. Give it a nice open Luigi. That one's actually kind of mirrored. Usually Luigi grabs the uh, grabs the knob um, facing like the left side, if that makes sense. This is the artist's studio. It is, you know, you interfere with my afterlife's work. This is a ghost we've heard about since kind of the start of the adventure, actually. Egad has been telling us all about him. You filthy swine. You've blind to the life I give to my creations. Then very well, I will show you the mastery of my art. This is Vincent Van Gogh. Obviously a play on Vincent Van Gogh. I need those... I need that money. Vincent Van Gogh, or Vincent Van Gogh is his name in this video game. He is a ghost painter. All of these ghosts we've seen that aren't booze or portrait ghosts were made by him. Also, this room is like uh, threes, tri what is triples and doubles uh, heaven. If you've ever wanted to get a triple or a double, this is the room to try and do it in. All right, we have all these ghosts in here. Oh, I think I only grabbed two. Oh, see, yeah, that's no good. Thankfully, we have just a whole ton of opportunities to uh, continue to try, try, try again. There we go. Oh, I'm really, really not trying to lose my money right now, guys. I literally just had a talk about how I need every little penny, and that includes gold coins, obviously. So I am um, gonna, gonna wanna keep those uh, in check. Okay, perfect. And then this one. I took care of each those individually a little bit. The ghosts will get harder and harder as you progress. You know, we are on the light blue ghosts, now we're going to go to the red ones. Generally, the health increased, the abilities increase, uh, all that kind of thing. Oh, come on, that could be a really, really good quad, or triple, not a quad. I'm getting pulled in all sorts of directions. Oh, but I still pulled it. Oh, I almost pulled it off. I think I, I missed up that last one. He has, what, like two health left? Two health, I, I would say. Nope, he's gone again. All right, thank you for appearing. Literally two health. Yeah, not even an, est or an overstatement. Okay, now we have shy guys on deck. Alrighty, three of them to be precise. Just have to pull the masks off, get a three-way stun, and then that's that's a triple right there. There we go. Ooh, yes, now we have banana ghosts. My least favorite ghost in the video game, I would argue. 
Okay, oh, I got two of them. Let's see if I can actually get a double on these. Honestly, getting a double would be nice. I'm probably gonna trip on a banana, though. It would be a miracle if I didn't. Holy buckets, there's actually one right there, and I somehow didn't trip on it. Okay, yeah, let's literally look at how messy this area is. There we go. Thank you. Now we have just this one left. Hopefully I can keep him in this corner. I always like to get my ghosts uh, with me being in the left-hand corner. Kind of just gives me an area to hold the single the control stick in a single direction. Okay, and now we have the ghosts that pop out of the ceiling. And there they all are with their explosives. Okay. Where could they be? Oh, okay. There we- oh. Okay. Oh, wow. Hello. Please get away from wherever you currently are. Ow. Luigi. I'm losing coins. This is a tragedy. Okay. There's one. That's not two. This can't be two either. This'll be two. Literally, th these are the ones you need to actually have the light off for until you get right next to them. There we go. Okay. Perfect. We got all the ghosts. My, my creations. But even if they disappear, my work will live on. Uh, that is right. Nest se pass. Art is eternal. Home? You say that only one of my creations is left? But these cannot be. That are lords. Alright, so as you can see, Vincent Van Gogh now becomes a ghost we can suck up with our ghost vacuum. Okay, perfect. Got him below halfway. Can I one-cycle him? I think I can if I don't get picked up by that evil mushroom. I got it! Yay! We did it! Give me all these pearls. And we get a key! This is a very special key. This is the key that will allow us to go right into the last room. The room where King Boo lives. You might notice that now our Boo light is flashing once again. There is a ghost in this room. This is Boutique Ses Chic. And it is a 300 HP uh, ghost, Boo. The last 300 HP Boo in the game, the last Boo overall. You see, this Boo actually has free range of the entire hallway. So it will use it as it sees fit. It could literally go anywhere on the th fourth floor, third floor. But it wouldn't really matter where it went because I have access to every single room in this mansion. So it could go anywhere it wanted. Obviously it's more convenient if it stays in uh, place, but... Anywhere I want it to go, it could be. Anywhere at all. Alright, here we go. Come on now. Hey, don't do that. I need every single coin. Um, if I lose 100 million by a single coin, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose my marbles. Not just 100 million. Alrighty. As I said earlier in the series, we can actually beat the game with only 40 boos captured. You only need 40 to get into the uh, final room. You need 40 boos and that key we got from Van Gore. Uh, of course, we have the key and we have 49 boos, which is one more than 48, which is eight more than 40. So we're, we're about to have 10 boos over the limit. And you might be thinking, well, what is the point in receiving all of the boos? And I will actually show that off as soon as I get all of the boos. This one is quite the pain though. 86 health, 85, 84. Maybe one or two more cycles. Thankfully the boo is not hiding every single time it chooses to leave, which is very good. See, sometimes I just break my rhythm, and it's just hard to recover. It is very, very hard to recover. Okay, there we go. 55, 54. Can I get 54 in a single one? I think I can. Let's see. Alright. Come here. Should I just do it the old-fashioned way? Eh, the old-fashioned way seems decently reliable. As opposed to doing the, uh... L pump method, where you hold L and pump the R button. 23 health! I think I can capture this in one go. Nope, it escaped with 2 health. Does that mean it's gonna escape in the hallway? Wait, oh yeah, I was gonna say, there's no way it actually... There's no way it goes in the hallway. Okay, hold on, let's see. Here we go. Okay, and as you can see, it spawns a gold diamond. Fantastic! Way to go, Luigi! Now send me the boo and the data you've got. Be careful, Luigi. The reward is a second gold diamond. Yep, that's what you get. So, if that's worth it, then go for it. 
I personally think it's worth it because I'm going for 100 million gold. Although I do not know if that is going to happen. Actually, you know what? Let's let's see something. Okay, I'm gonna open this list and I'm gonna go over to my money bot program and I'm gonna plug all these data values in and I'll tell you how much money we have right now. Alrighty, so if we total up our current amount of money, we are sitting at nine, 90 million. 90 million, which means we need to come up with 10 million from somewhere. The biggest problem is in our large pearl count, you're supposed to have 19. Now large pearls are received from fighting portrait ghosts. If you one cycle them, you get a large pearl. If you two cycle, you get a medium pearl. And if you one, if you take more than that, you get small pearls instead. Uh, as I said, we're supposed to have 19 of those and we, we don't, we have six. So that is where our biggest hangup is going to be. Now, of course, as I have seen and shown before, there are other places we can get money. Um, but we would need to be getting a whole lot in order to make that count. I know for a fact there's a single blue gem we'll be picking up, um, and that is inside the uh, final room of the game. But otherwise, I think the 100 million dream might be a little down the drain. You can check the map. I suppose we can go through and see if there's any other, um, any other things we could possibly get. I'm... Not really thinking the answer is yes, but wait, wasn't there a yeah? There's a there's a water spirit in here. Let's see something. Let's let's see if we can water plants. Sometimes watering the plants gives you things. Okay, there's a gold bar, useful. We'll take some water and we'll run around to some of the other plants to end off the episode. Just trying to really cash in. See if we can really get the amount of money we need. As I said, if we don't get 100 million, it isn't the end of the world uh, by any means. It's just unfortunate because that was, of course, the goal we had set out to do. And since we can't do it, it is uh, quite the bummer. There are no more of the uh, golden mice that can spawn, I don't think, uh, because those only spawn randomly in dark hallways, and there aren't any more dark hallways, really. There's the one upstairs, but I doubt that is uh, that is anything. Could you get anything from shaking this? No, none at all. And you get anything from the chandelier up here? Probably not. Can you even hit the chandelier? You can shake it a little bit. Oh, whoa, that actually, that is something. That's, that's some money. Okay. Come here. Nummy, nummy, num. Give me it all. Okay. I'm literally scrounging for paper money at this point. Do you even count bills? Do bills even count? Bills must count towards coins. Oh no, bills are their own thing, 555. That gave me some bills. All right, I know there are plants out here on this balcony. We're gonna water these and then we will end off the episode. I might hunt some money um, in between episodes and if I do, I will totally just uh, catch you all up on what I discovered because you know, if, if I get money, we all deserve to, uh, to know where it comes from in case anyone was using this um, as a guide of, of any sort. None in there. Yeah, there were, there's plants out here. Do these plants give you anything? Oh, this, okay. Oh yes, they did. It gave me a blue. Nice, okay, great. Working our way up. Closer and closer each day. All right, yeah, like I said, I think I will go ahead and see if I can locate about 10 million more uh, coins or money, gems, whatever, in this video game. And uh, if I can, I will 100% report back to you all and we can rejoice in having all of this money together. I think it's just gonna be a lot of me going back to all the rooms that I didn't really pay too much attention to, doing things like smacking these, seeing if anything pops out, all that glorious, glorious stuff. So, uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and, and oh, well, let me try this one first, and then I'm gonna end off the episode, I swear. Nope, nothing inside of it. What about, like, over here? No, all right. Maybe area one will have some money for me. I wasn't really paying attention to that area. All right, well, that is going to be all for now. I want to thank you all so, so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, please hit like and subscribe and tell your friends about the series if you think they would enjoy it. It means a lot to me. You guys can have videos around. The next episode should be the finale of the series, which will be pretty dang crazy. So, uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys all back here next time. Until then, as always, take care. <laughs>